Hey guys, it's Josh with TechZone UK. In this video, I want to show you guys how you can set up a mapped network drive to another PC on your network. Now, mapped network drives can work in various different um, places. I mean, you can have a mapped network drive to like a NAS drive or, or something like that. But what I'm going to do today is show you how to set up a shared folder on another PC and then connect your main PC to that shared folder. So to demonstrate this, what I've got here is running a Windows 8 um, virtual machine here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new shared folder. So I'm going to come into my C drive here and I'm just going to create a new folder and I'm going to call this share. And once we've done this, we're just going to share it. So we're going to right click, go to properties and we go to sharing and we're going to hit share. And I'm just going to hit share here. As you can see, look now the you need to memorize this path here. So backslash backslash VPC backslash share. Your might yours might be different. I mean, it might be home PC, Windows 7 PC, Josh's PC forward slash backslash share, whatever it is. But just remember this line here. So mine's backslash backslash VPC share. I'm gonna hit done, and we're gonna click close just here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna come onto our main PC, and we're gonna go to start and my computer. And we're going up to the top here where it says map network drive. Now, if you're running on Windows XP, I think you have to press Alt and go to tools and then press map network drive just here. And on here, you, <coughs> on here you can select any um, drive letter you want. I'm just going to go with P or M. Um, and what we're going to do in here is type the actual uh, folder share path. So we're going to go backslash backslash VPC backslash share. Now, as I said before, yours might be different to this. Um, so just make sure you copy it, or it said on the actual folder share. If you can't remember, just come back to your folder share here and right click the folder, properties, sharing, and it'll tell you just there. So coming back to our Windows here, let's go to our network drive. You can see if we go finish, it's asking us for our username and password. So the username for this PC is user. Although we need to basically create a quick password for this account. So let's go to uh, your local user account. Create a password. And I'm just going to create the password as password123. 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 <laughs> and hit next. And we hit finish. So now we have a user account password set up on this uh, account. So first of all, I forgot to mention, you actually need to create a user account password for the account we want to connect to. So the computer that's got the shared folder, make sure there's a password on it, otherwise it won't work. So go into Map Network Drive, and the username for this PC was user, and the password which we just set was password123. Hit OK, and now you can see on my main PC, this isn't on my Windows 8, this is on Windows 7 here, you can see if we go to computer, we have a share just here on backslash 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 VPC. So if I copy this um, ISO of Ubuntu uh, onto this uh, share, in theory, once it's finished copying over, we should be able to see that on the actual, or in the actual share folder uh, on that Windows 8 PC that we created a second ago. Okay, so now it's finished copying over, let's take a look on our Windows 8 PC and let's just go into our share folder here and there we go, we have the Ubuntu ISO that I just dragged into the share folder on my other PC. So this is a really, really good way of being able to share files across a network. I mean, if you've got a server, then all you need to do is share one file or if you just run a network and you've got a PC that's always on, just create a shared folder on that PC and then get map network drives from all the other PCs and devices in your network and just point into that one PC. Obviously you can't access the files if that PC is not on or offline, it just won't work. Um, so find a PC that's always on and try and use that. But I mean if you just want to share files quickly between two different computers and you just want to be able to drag and drop them and share them quickly, this is probably the easiest way um, of doing it. Obviously this won't work over the internet. If you had something like a VPN or something like that, that'd probably work. Um, or probably say probably would work. Um, but to be honest, this is probably the easiest way of doing it. Would be just via um, setting it up on a LAN. So 
that's pretty much it so that's how you create a shared network in Windows 7 and 8 and pretty much Vista and XP it's all virtually the same um, so there we go thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed this video give it a like if you want to get to see more from my YouTube channel then definitely hit that subscribe button up above or oh, down below I think it is now and if you've got any questions or feedback or anything like that then please drop a comment below um, and I'll try my best to get back to it and also if you have any suggestions for videos that I could do please leave a comment below and I'll try my best to get around to doing it for you. Thank you very much, take care.